Hey guys, so today we're looking at Euro USD one minute chart and we're gonna see how Gaines Algo performs in real time on this specific chart. I have the replay mode on 3x, the uh, the replay speed, so it's not gonna be as fast as usual because some uh, people in the comments on previous videos requested uh, for us to lower the speed. Anyway, so let's go. So we're waiting for a signal now. Oh, we got a buy signal. Okay, the market dipped a little bit. We're gonna review every single trade, by the way, after we're done. But let's see what happens. So we had a massive pump here. So I'm, I'm guessing this trade will be profitable. There you go. Easily profitable as you can see. Another one. That's a beautiful trade. Right there. Oh, another one. Look at that. So as you can see, this indicator does not lag or repaint. Look at that. Another one. Look at that. I mean, this is just beautiful. It does not lag or repaint. And all these signals are super, super early. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so now let's review these trades. So as you can see, the first trade that we had, uh, the first signal, my bad, that we had, as you can see, it was very early, maybe even a bit, even a bit too early because the market dipped a little bit more. But as you can see, it then shortly went up. So this would have been an easily profitable trade, right? Um, and if we actually look how much it went down. So by the way, when you uh, when it comes to entering these trades, once you get a buy signal, right? You don't enter at the bottom of the candle. You actually enter at the top because the way it works is you get a buy signal, right? And then you wait for the candle to close to have, you know, to have that signal be confirmed. And then on the following candle, right when it opens, that's when you enter, right? So if we look, right, that's where we would have entered. If we look, the most that we would have been down for would have been, as you can see, only 0.02%. And if we actually, you know, waited till the sell signal here, and once again, we don't enter, uh, we don't exit at the very top. We wait for the sell uh, for the candle where we got the sell signal to close, right? And then on the following, we exit. So as you can see, we would have made 0.1%, uh, which is basically, you know, five times what we would have been. Uh, what we were down there for anyways so great start right uh, let me actually we know what we can keep that okay then the second trade I mean this one you know this one was a beauty right we would have entered here we were we would have never been in loss right no one realized loss and we would have exited right here right so once again we enter after uh, on the following uh, candle um, after you know we, we would have gotten that sell signal and then we exit well we technically we would have exited on this candle right here Right, so small profit, but there you go. That's our second profitable trade. Then actually, you know what? This is going to be a cluster. So let me get rid of these signals. I mean, we can all definitely see that these trades are profitable. Uh, but then once again, right? We enter once again. Uh, we got we get the buy signal. Then on the following candle, it opens. Boom! We enter here. Right? We get our sell signal. We exit right here. Another profitable trade. Now with this trade, this one, even though it does look like it's profitable, right? This one right here it actually is not profitable because look at this, right? We would have started shorting here, right? But then we would have only exited the trade here, right? Now, that's our first loser trade. And let me explain to you why um, this trade would have been, uh, was essentially not that great. Now, Gaines Algo, as you can see, gave the best signals, right? I mean, if I get rid of this, right? If we look at this little situation here, right? As you can see, we got our sell signal at the very top and we got our buy signal at the very bottom, right? But sometimes that is not enough because the problem here was that we did not have enough volatility. As you can see, the market here was essentially just ranging, right? We did not, as you can see before here, we had big, you know, pumps, dumps, all of that. Here, the market was basically not moving, right? It was stagnant. So in this case, the, you know, the issue was not Gaines Algo's, you know, accuracy or whatever, but the volatility of the market and that you know you can't do too much about but that's why you know people tend to trade on certain sessions uh where there's you know more volatility and this might have just not been the best time to trade anyways moving on then we had our buy signal here right so let me actually be correct here we would have entered once again not on this candle on this one right as soon as it opens boom we enter we exit uh right there right after the uh, uh, on the next candle where we got the sell signal. Once again, a profitable trade, right? Small profit, but easily profitable. Then next up, now this was a big trade. Look at that. That's a big one. And then after, and yeah, the, 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 the last trade that we had, look at this massive pump. This candle alone moved 0.04%. So as you can see, that would have been definitely easily profitable. So now let's check out the settings that I'm currently using. So by the way, I just want to mention that I'm using the pro version. We have standard and pro and the pro one is by far the best one. So if you're if you are looking to get the same uh, indicator that I'm using here exactly, 
that's gains algo pro anyways now the settings so i'm not gonna go over uh, in detail what each of these settings uh exactly do as you can see we have these little helpful tooltips which essentially explain what the setting uh, does and how you can adjust it. But anyway, so the first setting is called Candle Stability Index. So that one I have on 0 0.5 and that's the default value. So this one I have not changed. Then we have RSI Index and this one I have switched from 50 to 80. Now essentially what that does is it gives you more signals, right? Uh, if you lower this value, that will give you a bit less signals because essentially you're either increasing or decreasing uh, the sort of, you know, criteria, I guess you could call it for um, the RSI factor uh, for this algorithm. And by increasing it, you're essentially just getting more signals, right, to put it simply. Then we have candle delta length. The default value for this one is five. I've switched it to eight because I found that eight sort of um, just works better for this specific market, which is once again, Euro USD one minute chart. Um, and then this very uh, important setting that I have, I always have it enabled. It's called Disable Repeating Signals. Now what this setting does is essentially, as you can see on my chart, we have one buy signal, uh, then we have one sell signal, right? And each sell signal is followed by a buy signal, and each buy signal is followed by a sell signal. And that is because I have this setting enabled. If I wouldn't have it enabled, then we could have multiple buy signals and multiple sell signals. Now, uh, some of you might wonder, why is this even an option, right? Wouldn't you want to always have, you know, one buy signal, one sell, one sell signal? Well, the thing is, in some cases, for some, you know, trading styles, it's actually useful to have multiple buy signals because maybe you want to get a lower average entry, right? So by having multiple buy signals can help you get a bit of a, you know, lower entry rather than just entering, uh, you know, with the first buy signal. So in certain cases, basically, this does have a use case. But if you're just a beginner trader, if you don't really, you know, know too much, if you don't have, you know, a style of trading uh, that you, you know, really like, whatever, if you just want to make keep it simple, I definitely recommend uh, keeping this um, this option here, the setting enabled. And by the way, uh, just to let you guys know, all these settings right here, all these adjustable settings only come with the pro version. The standard version does not have these options where you can like change the settings and stuff. So yeah, the other thing is, the other feature of Gains Algo Pro, the pro version specifically, are the cosmetic settings here. So we can actually change them around here. As you can see, I have it uh, set here on huge, so it would be, you know, very easily visible to all of you watching, but we can even, you know, go as low as tiny here, or, you know, you basically can't even see them. But, you know, maybe for some people, for certain, you know, devices, monitors, that might be useful. We also have different uh, styles here. We can have triangles, we can have arrows. Arrows don't really look too good on TradingView because they're very, like, slim and stuff, but there you go. Then we also have colors. You can have different colors. So, for example, we can make this... Um, bluish color then we have like orange and stuff like that so if you you know want to switch that around there you go that's gains algo pro and by the way it works on all markets and all time frames it doesn't repaint or lag and we currently still have our 80 percent sale which is probably going to end in just a few days really but if you want to get gains algo pro or gains algo standard right go to well actually i'm going to leave a link in the description but our website is gainsalgo.com and if you're watching this video after you know just maybe one day uh or a few days that after it's been posted you probably still have a good chance of getting gains algo with that 80 percent off which is by the way applied automatically you don't have to enter any codes just go to our website and get gains algo today so thank you for watching and if you have any questions or concerns make sure to leave them in the comment section below goodbye